since much of the focus of the REDUCE methodology and SMED is focused on internal and external activities, cleaning up the process can be broken down into two areas. Improve or eliminate the remaining external activities and improving internal activities. Because much of this section borrows from the practical approaches shared by Dr. Shingo in his book, A Revolution in Manufacturing, the SMED System, we will break them down into different lectures for your understanding. Let's get started. One of the first things you can do to clean up or streamline your changeovers is to clean up external processes that you may not always consider. For example, retrieving a tool is a natural part of the process, but does not add value and consequently waste time. When improving or eliminating the remaining external activities in your external setup, one of the largest opportunities you will find is in the transportation and storage of tooling, materials, parts, and information. Looking around for hours to find the right equipment will not add value for anyone. One effective system that can be used to improve the external transportation and storage of materials is the 5S system. The 5S system is a visual workplace management system that promotes safety, efficiency, and teamwork while making abnormalities visible. As you use the 5S system to streamline the storage of materials, tools, and equipment, keep these three questions in mind. What is the best place to put mm. these items for easy access? Mm. How can these items be stored so that they are ready mm. for the next use? Do we need to keep inventory on hand? If so, how much? As you consider these questions, you may also wish to map the flow of items with a spaghetti diagram or flowchart, review distances, and ensure that items are at ergonomic levels and with safety in mind. Keep in mind that various improvement tools can be used to reduce or eliminate remaining waste in your external process. As you establish better storage and retrieval practices, you will find that external activities can be reduced to nine minutes or less. After every possible form of waste has been squeezed out of the external activities, improvement of the internal activities can take place. This can be a bit more tricky than improving external setup activities and oftentimes requires engineering assistance, investments, and a little bit of planning. Nonetheless, there are some things that you can do which will bring your times into the single digit time frame. The four techniques that can further reduce your setup or change over times are first, converting sequential steps to parallel steps where possible, second, use of clamps that are functional, third, eliminating any and all adjustments, and last but not least, mechanization. As with any other portion of a changeover, there are some powerful methods that Dr. Shingo shares more about in his book, A Revolution in Manufacturing the SMED System. We will look into each of these techniques as we drive time out of and improve our internal setup activities. See you in the next lecture.